Hi, everybody. In this video, we're talking about the law of cosines. I've written the law of cosines down in three different formats. Uh, they all mean exactly the same thing. If you have a triangle, you have angle A across from the side A, angle B across from side B, angle C across from side C. The angles are always written in capitals. The sides are written in lowercase. The way to remember these formulas is, look, these A's match, or these B's match, or these C's match. And then look, B, C, B, C, C, A, C, A, uh, A, B, A, B. So um, the way you decide which formula or which version of this formula you use is by noting what angle you either have or you want. So um, if I have one angle and two sides, say I have angle B, then I would use this guy and put in my sides and my angle and get whatever else I want. Um, if you have three sides and you want a certain angle, you say you want angle A, then you would use this guy, put in A, B, and C, and then solve for cosine of A. So we're gonna try some examples of these formulas. Uh, to start with, we're gonna do this example. Uh, I have angle B, I have two sides. So I'm gonna start out by um, using this formula, B squared, equals a squared plus c squared uh, minus 2ac cosine b. And so we're gonna put in a, put in c, put in angle, uh, put in angle b and we'll spit out b squared. So a squared plus c squared minus two times a times c times cosine 38. Now use my calculator to figure that out. Uh, we'll have 12 squared plus 16 squared minus two times 12 times 16 times cosine 38. So B will equal, B squared will equal 97.4. And then to get B, I'll just take the square root of that number and we'll say B equals 9.87. Now we have all three sides and we need an angle. So um, we can choose to get any angle we want. Perhaps we'll just get angle A. So this time I want A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus two BC cosine A. The reason I picked this is because I was gonna get angle A and this is the only version that has angle A in it. And before I get started, I might wanna rearrange this where I can get the cosine of A on one side by itself. So I'm just gonna kinda of go back to algebra one and solve this for cosine A. I'm just getting everything on the left side except for cosine A, we're gonna divide by minus two BC. You can put the numbers in first if you want, but I think it's a little easier just to deal with the, without a bunch of numbers here, A squared minus B squared minus C squared over two BC. Now we're gonna put numbers in. Uh, A is 12, so 12 squared B is 9.87 squared. C is 16 squared. And then minus two uh, times B, uh, which was 9.87 uh, times C, which was 16. We're gonna get cosine A equals, let's get that number. I'll just do it right here with you. So we get uh, 12 squared, and then we have minus 9.87 squared minus 16 squared. That's the top, big 209, divided by negative 2 times 9.87 times 16. So 0. 0.663. Cosine equals 0. 0.663, and A is inverse cosine 
of that number. So we're going to do second cosine for inverse cosine and answer. So it's 48 point, call it 48.5 degrees. So that's A, let's go back to my picture and say this is 48.5 degrees. And now the only thing left is angle C and all you have to remember is that all angles in a triangle add to 180. I'm gonna take 180, we're gonna subtract these two angles and whatever is left will be my angle C. 48.5. So angle C is 93.5. So that's how the law of cosines works. I'm going to do one more example with a three sided triangle. So here's a three sided triangle with three side, well, obviously three sided triangle, but it's got, we're given three sides, we went on an angle. So we'll just start with the uh, angle, have an angle A. Um, and we'll say a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a. Like we did a minute ago, I'm going to take away b squared, take away uh, c squared, so we get this. Minus 2bc cosine a. And then we'll divide by negative 2bc. Cancel that out. So cosine a is a squared minus b squared minus c squared over minus 2bc. And believe it or not, this is actually another form of the law of cosines you can write um, to find an angle, but we won't spend too much effort on that for now. Um, if I want to plug in the numbers, we're going to have uh, 8 squared. Let me just write this down. 8 squared minus 13 squared minus 18 squared over minus two times B, which is 13 times C. And we'll figure out what that is. Uh, eight squared minus 13 squared minus 18 squared on top is negative 429. Divide that by negative two times 13 times 18 and you get 0.9167. And then to get angle A, that is inverse cosine of 0.9167. So I'll do second cosine, and then I'll just do second ans entry, um, sorry, inverse cosine, second answer, and that will be a 23.6. So now we know this is 23.6 degrees up there. Now, let me show you a trick here. You've got some options. You can either do the law of cosines again, or you could go back to the good old law of sines, which is actually a little bit simpler, and maybe find angle B. Let's do the law of sines and just practice that. The law of sines said this. It's your choice. You can do law of cosines again. But once you get one angle, um, you can uh, do whatever you want. Uh, I, I notice I've got angle A, I've got side A, I've got side B, so I've got angle A, side A, B, I can solve for, I have three things that I can solve for the fourth. So I'll do maybe sine of 23.6 over A, which is eight, equals the unknown angle sine B over side B, which is 13. So eight sine B, equals that, divide by eight, and you get sine B equals this number. Let's figure out what that is. 13 sine of 23.6 divided by eight, it's 0.65. And then B is the inverse sine of 0.65. So we're gonna do inverse sine of that and it's 40.6 degrees. This is 40.6. And then finally, you can take 180, subtract off 40.6, and subtract off 23.6, and you get 115.8 for that last one, 115.8.
So there you go. That's the law of cosines and uh, with a, an, a, a triangle with just three sides given. Bye-bye.